Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I surprised my daughters today with a super fun green pancake breakfast and some hard boiled eggs. All I did for the pancakes for St. Patrick's Day is take the batter and make it normally how I normally make it and then I added some green food coloring. It was so simple and it was such a joy to see the girls face light up when they realized and saw that they were going to be eating green pancakes. We've been having so much fun hard boiling our eggs in this pink dash hard boiled egg maker. It is pretty cute, pretty good, super fast, super simple, and it is definitely worth the 10 bucks. Going the extra mile for your kiddos never fails. It's the simplest of touches that they appreciate the most, like adding some sprinkles to their pancakes. These are the days they are always going to remember. St. Patrick's Day pancakes made simple. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I just made the cutest little St. Patrick's pancakes for the girls. All I did was add some green food coloring in them. I'll show you guys how I made them. It was super easy and the girls loved them. I'm getting ready to put little Miss Sophia down for her first nap because it's time for her nap and she's acting kind of groggy. I think she's getting some more teeth in. The big girls are in my room charging Layla's new iPad because her other one broke. We got some fun little activities today. I have one errand to run at Target, actually two, and I need to go to Walmart to get some fruit and some syrup. And I am gonna show you guys the cutest St. Patty's treats for your kiddos or for yourself or your loved ones or whoever, but they're super cute, super easy, super affordable. So if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. I'm gonna put her down for a nap. I'm gonna go try on some Dollar Tree lashes, let you guys know how it goes, and then we're gonna jump in the car when she wakes up and go run some errands. To be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I won. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. The Kiss Gel Liner Glue, you guys, is my absolute favorite. It's my ride or die lash glue. You guys, my babysitter recently brought me this little package with these dollar store faux mink lashes, you guys, and they are fire. I can't believe how good they look, how well they kept up throughout the day, and just how much I loved them. For only a dollar, I'm definitely going to go to the dollar store and see if they have more. Um, hi dollar store. I see you. Wow, you guys. These are from the dollar store. Let's see how well they hold up throughout the day. I'm going to throw some mascara and primer on my real lashes. I will show you guys in the car how they look. So far, I'm impressed. Wow, dollar store. What are these called? These are Ioni Extra Large Wispy Dramatic 3D Faux Mink Lashes. Wow. I My babysitter gave these to me yesterday when she babysat the girls, and I want to call her, figure out which dollar store she got them, when she got them, and I'm going to, like, book it over there and go get, like, 20 pairs of these because, wow. Don't they look good for a buck, you guys? In case you are wondering what's all of this stuff all over, the girls have obviously been in my bathroom tearing stuff up. I wanna show you guys my 
super quick shower favorites. I need to clean my shower really bad. This right here is Dove Exfoliating Body Polish. It smells so good. You guys, my skin smells so good. Even before I put lotion on, I couldn't smell anything. And it's like a whipped um, exfoliating cream. It was my first time using it today and I loved it. I'm hooked. It's so rich and creamy and it's by Dove and it was four or five bucks. And then this Dove Renewing Peony in Rose Oil. This is body wash and this is also, um, I used this for the first day today and I love it. These are both from Target. If you guys remember, I showed you guys in a Target haul on a day in the life vlog. But yeah, I just wanted to show you both of my little favorites that I'm loving right now. And I just got, we just got this package. This is some new gel polishes. I'm loving doing my gel nails. Um, I waited for them for a little bit to grow out and they're grown out. I shaped them up into a round square and then tonight when the girls go to bed, I'm gonna paint them. I think I'm gonna paint them this white and then put on like some pink dots with a Q-tip. It'll look cute. This is by Beatles. There you go, Beatles. I do love to show you guys new products and which is the best product in the biggest bang for your buck and what's the best deal and stuff. So I did just order a new UV lamp and new gel colors from a whole different company and brand. It'll probably be here um, within the next week. And um, when I get those, I'm gonna try them out and let you guys know probably on a day in the life vlog and we'll see which one is the better deal. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. If I didn't already say that, um, we are headed to Target to return. If you guys watched my Target haul, you'll see the large painting that I got. Um, it, ha it has a brown border, like a brown wood frame, and then it has black and white dots on it. And I fell in love with it right when I seen it. I wish they had two, but they only have one. So I kind of settled for that one. There was another one that was $70 and it came with two pictures. One was black and the other one was white. The black one has white dots on it and then the white one has black dots on it. So it was kind of like a contrast um, of both of the two paintings. So it was two pictures for 70 bucks versus the one picture that I got for $45. And I got it home and I was looking at it. It's so pretty, but you really need two. So, excuse me, I'm gonna take it back and spend an additional $25 to make it the $70 and get the ones that I actually want. Um, instead of just settling for one because it's cheaper, but I don't love it. I love the one that's $70, so I'm gonna go and get it. I've been needing something for this wall space for like the whole time we've lived in this house. So I think I finally found it. Cross your fingers that they still have the wall decor because I know everything at Target gets gone so fast. I should have really gotten it that day when I was there recently and grabbed the $45 painting. But today is Fun Friday. We have all sorts of fun things. I made a really cute St. Patty's breakfast for the girls. We're doing all things St. Patty's today. I'm giving you guys fun ideas that you guys can celebrate with your kids or just fun ideas for fun Friday or fun ideas for any given day of the week. We're gonna make rainbow fruit kebabs and then we're gonna make cupcakes and hang out, watch a movie like we do every Friday, make some popcorn and run over to Target, return that, get the other two pictures, hopefully, run to Walmart, get what I need to make the cupcakes and then let's head back home. I told my mom today that we were gonna go visit her for 10 minutes so she can see the girls for a little bit. We made it. Yay. Ready to see Granny? Yeah. Yes. Come on, girls. 
Bye, Granny. Come on, girls. Girls, come on. All right, that was nice. Did you guys enjoy your time with Granny? Yeah. That was nice, huh? Shook, stop whining, okay? That was a nice little 20-minute visit with my mom. Now we are really headed to Target and Walmart. Here's the painting that I'm returning. It's so cute and it's huge. It just um, is not huge enough for the space that I need. That's why I'm going to get the, um, the set that has two sets in it. It's so pretty though. Hi. And here is the pictures that I want. I love them. Some modern boho. Love them. Okay, you guys ready? Guys, I got it! It is so pretty. I love it. I love it. I'm so obsessed with it. I love it. I can't wait to hang it up. Um, all I had to pay, I got a cart full of groceries and then some Easter stuff. And all I had to pay extra was $22 because I had a $50 reward from my Target app. So winning. All right, let's go to Walmart and then let's go home. Woohoo. My iPad did so sad stuff. Is it? Yeah. Good. Um, the girls are eating a little um, Twinkie, like a Easter Twinkie that has pink um, marshmallowy goodness inside. And they were super cute. The packaging was really cute, so I got them. I'll give you guys a Target haul later tonight. Um, actually, I'll probably do it right when I get home, so I won't have to have all the stuff out on the counters until the girls go to sleep. So, Target haul right when we get home. Okay, mini grocery haul. This is all from Target. We got these mini white cheddar cheese balls that are obviously bunny themed and they just looked cute. They're from that Oots, yeah. Oots brand. Um, every season they come out with like Halloween treats, Easter treats, Christmas treats, Valentine's treats, and I always get a box for the girls. 
super cute cotton candy Twinkies. I've never even heard of these, but the girls wanted one in the car, so they each had one. Layla ate hers, Shook ate hers, Sophia ate half of hers, and then Shook ate the other half. They smelled divine. Look how cute these confetti peeps are. So cute. I just got them just because why not? Look how cute they are. Who could pass those up? We got some Lucky Charms because all the kids love Lucky Charms. I got some bunny marshmallows for my spring decorate with me. I'm going to be putting them in a caulking glass jar like that, but it's a little bit smaller. It's not, it's skinnier than this one. So I got those for that video and then the kids can snack on them throughout the next month or two. And I've heard nothing but good things about this bunny bait from Target, you guys. Look how bomb that looks. And it's so pretty. Like, it's so pretty, I don't even want to eat it. But I got two of them because they were two for seven, so I got two of those. One of my sons likes to eat random stuff like this, so I got this for him. And yeah, I just had his name written all over it. It's Edible Grass Green Apple. Kind of the same reason I got that, just because it's cute. And yeah, my son would have fun eating grass. We were out of popcorn, so I got a big old 12 pack of popcorn. We were out of, we're out of so much stuff. I need to do a big, huge grocery run. Um, we were out of pancake mix and all the kids, the boys and the girls love this Funfetti one. It's so good. It tastes like a birthday cake and a pancake. It is so good, you guys. And it's only around $2 and I normally stock up and get like five or six boxes of this. But right now, this was just a light grocery run. So I just grabbed this one. This will last us probably the next week. And I got tons of strawberries. I got two perfect bars and the chocolate mint. These are so good. I'm about to eat one of these for lunch. Um, got some smart sweets. These are good to cure my sweet tooth. And I always have a bag of these in my diaper bag right now. Let me see. Right now I have, yeah, this one. But whenever I like want candy or I need something sweet, I will grab these. There's only three grams of sugars in these. Um, these are really good for dieting and not getting fat while you're eating sugar. Okay, I'm trying to put all the fruit in order of the color of the rainbow. So there's green, purple, yellow, orange, and red. These are gonna be for our St. Patty's Day fruit skewers that I'm gonna show you guys how to make. They're so simple and so cute, and you can make them for birthday parties, for random days like fun Fridays, like today, or for a St. Patty's party. Anything that has to do with rainbows, you can make these, or just like I said, for a birthday party, even with a random theme, putting them on skewers is so cute. Got some club soda for our Italian sodas tonight for the kids while they're eating popcorn and watching movies. These are not the exact ones that I was looking for for the cupcakes that I'm gonna make after dinner tonight, but these will do. They're still, they're pretty much the same thing. They're just a different brand. These are the Airhead brand. And these are gonna be for, whoops, these are gonna be for the rainbow that's gonna go on top of the cupcake. And then here's the frosting for the cupcake. This is for the slime that we're gonna make. I always have one of these also in my diaper bag because they're super healthy. They're better than, um, obviously they're going to be better than pork bites or like beef jerky or anything like that. They're just turkey bites, turkey sausage, and all the kids love these and I love to snack on these when we're on the go in the car. I got a couple of these. There's always one of those in my diaper bag too. And then this is what we're having for dinner tonight with broccoli, four cheese DiGiorno pizza, gonna have to break my diet for this because it looks bomb and then a couple of dozen eggs and I got these for a sensory bin project that we're going to do with kinetic sand not today but these were only a buck at the target dollar spot I completely forgot that I got these aquaphor lip treatments I heard they're like amazing and you just put it on before you go to sleep and then you wake up like lips brand new and then I got this chapstick, total hydration chapstick, and it has a little bit of moisture. Super cute. And I'm excited to try this. The girls are playing quietly, and oh, I need to throw those potatoes away. These are garbage. 
Okay, so I'm going to get the girls some lunch. I'm going to start making the cupcakes for tonight and after lunch we'll probably just be early and get in our pajamas and start fun Friday. They're gonna be so cute on the wall. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Probably put them up after the girls go to sleep tonight. This looks so dang bomb. Mmm, self-rising crust. Yum. Okay, so it's dinner time. It's way later. I'm in my pajamas. I'm about to get the girls in their pajamas. We're going to start on the, the oven's preheating for the pizza. I'm going to boil some broccoli, and then I'm going to also get started on the cupcakes and the fruit skewers to give you guys some motivation and inspiration to maybe make these for your kiddos or for your fun Friday or St. Patty's Day or like I was saying, literally any type of event. They're super easy recipes and I can't wait for you guys to see them. Wake up at your place. Wake up at mine. Same question always. I'm getting tired. We could have breakfast. Oh my gosh you guys I forgot about one of the most important and cutest pieces I got this for the girls bed during um, Easter time I'm so glad I got them because they were selling out online from Target for 10 bucks look at the cute little tassels on here how adorable I'm so glad that I got this it's gonna be super cute on their bed for, okay the kitchen's done this is everything that you need for the um, st. Patty's cupcakes and the rainbow cupcakes and I am just going to make any cake mix, any boxed cake mix, and I'm going to follow the back of the package and cook them accordingly to the package.
these are the there's gonna be five different fruits strawberries red grapes and green grapes and then oranges that I'm gonna peel and some pineapple chunks from the can in the meantime I'm giving Sophia some sliced grapes now shook one some grapes and now miss Layla so now while the cupcakes are cooking I'm going to get started on their little skewers all I do is have red strawberries, yellow canned pineapple, orange oranges, and what else? And my green grapes and my red grapes. Break these up, cut these into little pieces, and then just start assembling them on these little tiny popsicle sticks. What's the matter, honey? Okay, this batch has three minutes left. I'm gonna see if I can quickly chop up the stuff before the three minutes is up. You said that you needed me like a cargo. Here are these so far, you kind of get the hint. They're super cute. You can add bananas, cantaloupe, watermelon, literally whatever you want. I'm just trying to go by the colors of the rainbow since St. Patty's Day is coming up soon. So I'm gonna finish these last couple and then get ready to cool down the cupcakes. Pop in over here for a quick second. Um, home goods, this is where I get all of my, um, probably 99.9% .9 of my holiday stuff and my cute decor for cupcakes and my um, garlands and my banners for around the house and all that stuff you guys know I love me some home goods these were $3.99 it came with the liners and these cute little bunny toothpicks and then it came with 24 of these and 24 of the toothpicks so cute I couldn't find any um, I didn't have any of these on hand so for the st. Patrick's cupcakes so I just took these out and used these ones but just to show you that I can still use these for Easter and they're still gonna be super cute home goods has all the things when it comes to holidays definitely check them out and they have the best prices
adorable these sweet little cupcakes turned out you guys you guys can do these for parties or something as simple as a fun friday and then i made a little tiny dish with popcorn a little bit of candy and the cupcakes for the girls while they enjoy their movie Happy Fun Friday! <laughs> So this is our fun Friday. I hope you got a couple of new ideas to spend fun Friday with your kiddos or your loved ones or whomever you want to do some activities and crafts with. I hope you try these cupcakes and these fruit skewers. If you do, make sure to tag me over on Instagram. I would love to see and share what you have done in your home. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.